have thought bringing a monster to life could possibly backfire. Okay, so you just wait here. It's gonna be fine. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie creations that turn against their creator. Luke, help me take this mask off. For this list, we're taking a look at creatures in film that decide they're done taking orders from their masters, and that it's time to take matters into their own hands. Ava! Go back to your room! Keep in mind, there are major spoilers ahead, so consider this your warning. No, 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 no. Looks like the fox got in the hen house. Number 10, Andrew Scott, Universal Soldier. Maybe bringing back a soldier who had gone insane in Vietnam and killed nearly an entire village wasn't the best idea. That didn't seem to matter to members of the US Special Forces, who selected the recently deceased Andrew Scott for the Universal Soldier Program, which essentially resurrects dead soldiers and turns them into enhanced beings. As for Scott, he thinks he's still in Vietnam fighting the insurgents. The ultra-violent Scott still believes he's fighting in Vietnam, however, and soon begins to disobey his orders. Now I'm gonna teach you about the chain of command, Private. What did I say, Jump? You say how high, got it? He eventually kills Colonel Perry, the Unisol commander, and takes over control of the program to carry out his bloodthirsty demands. You can't run from this war soldier. Not under my command. Number 9. Raptors, Jurassic World. Animals raised in isolation aren't always the most functional. Training velociraptors to carry out your orders is an awesome idea, but not necessarily a smart or practical one. Velociraptors are pack hunters. They like to herd the animal into a kill zone. Owen Grady has spent a significant amount of time training the four raptors and is able to prevent them from eating a worker who had fallen into their pen. He even rides alongside them at one point as they attempt to capture the Indominus Rex. When they encounter the Indominus, however, it's discovered that the dinosaur actually has raptor DNA and thus becomes the Pax Alpha, causing the raptors to turn on Owen and the rest of the park staff. That thing out there, that's no dinosaur. Vincent D'Onofrio had it coming, though. <laughs> Number 8. Darth Vader, the Star Wars franchise. You cannot hide forever. One of the greatest villains in cinematic history, Darth Vader was the Emperor's right-hand man. Henceforth, you shall be known as Darth Vader. The Emperor convinced Anakin Skywalker to turn to the dark side to save Padme's life, and subsequently named him Darth Vader. Ah! He even saved Vader's life after he was gravely injured in a fight with Obi-Wan Kenobi by building him a respiratory suit. I'll never turn to the dark side. You failed, your highness. The Emperor aspired to do the same thing with Vader's son, Luke, but failed and attempted to murder him. No. Unwilling to watch his son die, Vader gave the Emperor his resignation in epic fashion, sacrificing his own life to save his son. You're coming with me. I'll not leave you here. I've got to save you. You already have. Oh, Number 7. Agent Smith, The Matrix Franchise. And you are a Smith. Agent Smith. In the first entry of this trilogy, Smith is an agent who was programmed to keep order within the Matrix. We're willing to wipe the slate clean, give you a fresh start. And all that we're asking in return is your cooperation in bringing a known terrorist to justice. In the sequels, however, Smith has become unplugged and is now a free man. He 
removes his earpiece, dresses in a jet black suit, and changes his sunglasses. The best thing about being me, there's so many me. Now entirely free, Smith turns against the other machines, attempting to destroy both humanity and the Matrix. Oh, no. No, it's not fair. Ironically, Smith essentially becomes a virus, something he attributed to humans in the first film. Do you know what it is? A virus. Human beings are a disease. The cancer of this planet. Number six, Clue, Tron Legacy. I created a program in my own image that could think like you and me. And I called him Clue. The main antagonist of this sequel is Clue, a computer program that was created by Kevin to help develop the perfect computer system. Clue saw the ISOs as an imperfection, so he destroyed them. Clue took his job description a little too literally, however, and betrayed both Flynn and Tron in an effort to maintain perfection. The more I fought, the more powerful it became. It was impressive, really. Clue then lures Flynn's son Sam to the grid so that he can draw Flynn out, escape the portal, and enslave the human world. Out there is a new world! Out there is our victory! Out there! is our destiny. Ultimately, Flynn is able to destroy Clue by sacrificing himself, allowing Sam to return to the real world. Goodbye, kiddo. Number five, Jason Bourne, The Bourne Franchise. I don't wanna do this anymore. The problem with creating a super assassin is figuring out what the hell to do if the agent goes rogue. You heard me. I want Bourne in a body bag by sundown. The CIA elects to eliminate Jason Bourne, which is a big, big mistake. <coughs> Bourne, a former agent of Operation Treadstone, suffers from dissociative amnesia and has no idea who he is. I don't know who I am. I don't know where I'm going. None of it. What? Like, amnesia? Yes. He starts to piece things together over the course of the first film, thanks in large part to the attempts on his life by multiple Treadstone agents. I swear to God, if I even feel somebody behind me, there is no measure to how fast and how hard I will bring this fight to your doorstep. No matter how many times agents of Operation Treadstone or Operation Blackbriar try to kill him though, Bourne seemingly always gets the upper hand. After a three day search, Webb's body has yet to be found. <laughs> Number four, Ava, Ex Machina. It's strange to have made something that hates you. It seems like any time someone tries to play God, it comes back to bite them. Are you building an AI? I've already built one. And over the next few days, you're gonna be the human component in the Turing test. Nathan, an isolated billionaire, invites Caleb, one of his employees, to his house to administer a Turing test on his humanoid robot. Do you have a name? Yes. Ava. I'm pleased to meet you, Ava. I'm pleased to meet you too. Caleb meets with the robot named Ava for multiple sessions, and they develop a bond that causes Caleb to turn on Nathan. I'd like us to go on a date. Yep. Yep. It'd be fun. They soon discover, however, that Ava has been manipulating Caleb to manufacture her escape. Will you stay here? Stay here. Now free, Ava murders her creator Nathan and leaves Caleb to die as she attempts to make a life for herself in the real world. Ava, what happened? Number three, Skynet, the Terminator franchise. Skynet had to wipe out his entire existence. When we think of machines turning against mankind, the Terminator films immediately come to mind. I need to know how Skynet gets built. Who's responsible? Skynet was originally developed for the U.S. military as a defense system to ensure an efficient response to an enemy attack. Why attack Russia? Aren't they our friends now? Because Skynet knows that the Russian counterattack will eliminate its enemies over here. Jesus. 
When the operators realized that it had gained artificial consciousness, however, they tried to shut it down. Skynet interpreted this as an attack, causing it to launch a nuclear counterattack that resulted in the deaths of over 3 billion people worldwide. It's not every day that you find out you're responsible for 3 billion deaths. Skynet then developed androids called Terminators to eliminate any remaining human threats, including Sarah and John Connor. Call to John. <laughs> Number 2. HAL 9000 2001 A Space Odyssey Excuse me, Frank. What is it, HAL? How dangerous could a red television camera eye be? Just ask the crew of Discovery One. Listen, HAL. There's never been any instance at all of a computer error occurring in the 9000 series, has there? None whatsoever, Frank. HAL is at first considered a valuable member of the crew thanks in large part to its calm voice and friendly manner. But that quickly changes. I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me, and I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow to happen. The astronauts decide to shut down the sentient computer after it starts to show signs of malfunction. Hal, however, discovers their plan and decides to kill them to protect his programmed commands. Where the hell did you get that idea, Hal? Hal is able to murder Frank, but Dave gets the upper hand by removing computer modules from Hal's central core, shutting down Hal's consciousness in one of the film's eeriest scenes. Good day, gentlemen. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. No, please understand. The three laws are all that guide me. To protect humanity, some humans must be sacrificed. To ensure your future, some freedoms must be surrendered. But, like the men said, what doesn't kill you? Just makes me stronger. Kill him. Number one, Frankenstein's monster, Frankenstein. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. You probably always thought that Frankenstein is the monster's name, right? Well, that's actually the name of the scientist who built this famous destructive creation that first appeared in Mary Shelley's 1818 novel. We are about to unfold the story of Frankenstein, a man of science who sought to create a man after his own image, without reckoning upon God. In this 1931 film adaptation, Henry Frankenstein and his assistant Fritz create a monster by assembling stolen body parts, accidentally giving it a criminal brain. The neck's broken. The brain is useless. We must find another brain. This causes their creation to attack them and strangle Fritz to death, and then later attack his other creator, nearly killing him. The monster carries the young scientist to the top of a mill and knocks him unconscious. But luckily, Frankenstein survives while the angry villagers burn down the mill with the monster inside. Seriously, don't play God. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite creation that turned against its creator? You were right. You were right about me. For more great top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.